Namaste friends, I am Ritesh and I am Ritika and today we are focusing on neck alignment solely focus on Ushtrasan that is a camel pose. So I will ask Ritika to get into the camel pose that is Ushtrasan. So friends we are not getting so much of uh, in detail with the alignment of the lower part of the body but right now the important focus is your hip alignment. Uh, if you haven't seen my hip alignment please go ahead and over there I have talked a lot in detail about the hip. Now friends we don't want to do an anterior tilt and then do an Ustrasan. Why? Because if you are doing an anterior tilt the lower back is compressing. So what we need to do is a little bit of posterior. What will posterior do? It will lengthen the lumbar spine. Tall feeling, straight stand tall and chin tuck. Right. So whenever your chin tuck lengthen from the crown of the head, the back is straight. Okay. Now I'll ask Ritika to lift the right arm up, take it back and just keep the fingertip on the heel. Perfect. Now what I need is she should be lifting the chest up more. Right. Still the head is aligned. If you see the cervical spine, the cervical spine is aligned with the thoracic spine. Now lift the other arm up Ritika and take it back. Perfect. Now if you see here. The chest should lift up so there is more space in the lumbar spine. Okay, the hip should go up, posterior pelvic tilt. So you're trying to push this down posterior and try to lift the chest up. And if you see, she is quite comfortable in this position. Che check the neck. The check the neck is neutral. She is quite comfortable in this position. And I have seen most of the time when this is the position the person is quite comfortable. There are few people when they take the head back. For Ritika, she finds a lot of pain. That's the reason she is not doing it. But I will support her. Try to go back. Right. So there are people who go in this position. Friends, there is a lot of compression on the C1 and C2. Right. And that is the reason I really don't recommend. But if someone feels quite comfortable taking the head, come back slowly, get into a child's pose. So if someone feels really very comfortable to take the head back, just listen to your body but friends it's always it's always safe to do a neutral neck or a little bit of chin tuck but i will not recommend that you go into a hyper extension remember the cue the thoracic spine should follow the line of cervical spine if that is the case it's safe otherwise you might see lot of uh, ushtrasan images where the head is extended back friends I would definitely, definitely uh, will not say that do an hyperextension in Ustrasan. It's good to keep the neck neutral or a little bit of chin tuck. It's better. Come back slowly. Relax. Friends, that was your Ustrasan. Thank you for watching the video. Namaste.